Hey, this is Steve Huff at Steve Huff Photo, and I'm here today to take a look at the new Leica Q. This is the Leica Q. Uh, they kept it under wraps, kept it secret. Uh, it was out on the rumor sites, but this is it, the Leica Q in my hands. I've been shooting with it for three days, and sadly I have to send it back tomorrow because I'm only allowed to keep it for the uh, three days. So I managed to shoot it for many hours on each of those three days so I can really get a feel for the Leica Q see if it's uh, something that finally Leica got right and I can tell you right now that yes they did get it right and there's a few reasons if you look at the Leica Q what you're going to see is a Leica X style body um, while it does look like an X and X Vario there's many differences. In the hand, it feels light. It doesn't feel much like an M, but it also feels solid. You have a thumb grip here where your thumb rests, and it feels really nice. Actually, that's a great place to put a thumb rest. Here, we have a built-in EVF. No more do we have the big wart that's $600 and sticks on top of the camera, killing the design. But let's go up to the front. Here we have a 28 millimeter Sumalux f1.7 lens. You have your aperture dial up here. It looks like an M lens. You have a lens hood that it comes with that I screwed on there. You have a macro mode that when you switch into macro mode, see what happens? The lens barrel changes to a macro scale, um, giving you a focus distance you can get as close as 0 0.17 meters uh, up to 0.3 meters and then if you don't want macro your minimum distance starts at 0.3 meters and up if you want AF it clicks into AF mode if you want manual focus you click it out and the manual focus when you're using it as you can see it will blow up the image so you can get a critical focus it has focus peaking as well, but the image quality of this camera is pretty much out of this world. Uh, the lens they put on the Leica Q is stunning. It's a full frame sensor in this guy, so we finally have the camera many of us has, have asked for. It's the digital version of the Leica CM, um, a fixed lens, high quality digital camera with a built-in viewfinder. This is not a rangefinder. It's a, a basically a mirrorless camera with probably the best lens ever attached to a mirrorless camera. Now a lot of you will say, well that seems like a Sony RX1 that was out three years ago. This is true. It is very Sony RX1-like. Full frame sensor, high quality fixed lens, digital, um, great performance, but compared to the RX1, which is now three years old, the Leica Q is even better. And I'll tell you why. I think the lens and sensor combination is even better than the Sony here. You're getting tremendous, beautiful color, tremendous detail and sharpness, that color snap and pop uh, that you associate with Leica. Uh, this is a German made camera, Leica camera, Wetzler, Germany. This is not a collaboration with Panasonic or anyone else. This is a Leica made in Germany camera. And the combination of the beautiful full frame sensor, the 28 F17 Sumalux, the built in EVF, and the fairly snappy AF speed. You can hear it. Every time it beeps, it's locking focus. And this is inside my pretty dim house right now. I'm just by a window right here for window light. But it focuses pretty fast. And what I was telling you about the crop mode, much like the RX-1, if you press this button right here, this is what it's programmed for right now you see frame lines. So if I click it on to there, we're cropping it 
So you have the two crop modes in the menu, which is pretty cool. So digital zoom goes, I'm sorry, it goes 28, 35, and 50. So you have those three modes if you want to crop in the camera. Um, exposure compensation is right here. When you twist the dial, it comes up right there on the screen. So you can change your exposure compensation just by turning this dial here. Right here is your shutter speed dial. I keep it in aperture priority mode and aperture I change on the lens. Now from f1.7 on down, this is a stunning lens. It's sharp at f1.7 all across the frame, has beautiful autofocus transitions, beautiful color, beautiful sharpness and pop. It is a gorgeous camera. If we turn around to the bottom, we have the battery compartment, which comes out right here. You have a nice size battery, which has held up. I've been shooting nonstop for three days and I have half a battery left. So the battery life is much better than say a Sony. Uh, the Sony A7s are battery hogs, that's their one weakness. And I'm filming this with a Sony A7S and 16 to 35. But the Leica Q, it also comes with this leather strap, like a leather strap. I think it's the same one that used to come with the monochrome. Um, so when I received this, I didn't get a retail box. It's basically I got the camera, the strap, the hood, and there's a metal cap that goes over the front. I didn't get any specs or details from Leica. They didn't tell me the megapixel size of the sensor. They didn't tell me the price of the camera um, as of filming this video. I'm sure by the time uh, it goes live on June 10th, I will have this information. But as of filming this video, which I'm doing in May, um, I don't have the actual specs of the camera uh, official. So I don't want to say what the rumored specs were. All I know is that the image quality, the usability is stunning. Uh, I love the fact that this camera is so much fun to use. But let's take a closer look at the menus. Here's the menu system of the Leica Q. Right when I hit menu, the first thing is digital zoom, which as I showed, you can choose 28, 35, or 50. And right now this button, sh it shipped me with this button set for the, the digital zoom. Um, then you have focus, you have AF single, AF continuous, your AF mode, which I have on one point, center point, and you have multi-point tracking face detection, touch AF, and release. So let's see if this works here. So I'm on touch. There we go. So we have AF touch and release. Let's try this now. So if I touch it, it's going to take the photo. I don't have an SD card in, but so that's pretty cool. That's um, a feature you go into the focus setting, but I'm going to go back and put it on one point. AF assist lamp for manual focus assist, auto magnify and focus peaking. So when I start turning the focus dial and switch it into manual focus, the screen automatically um, will blow up so you can get critical focus. You can choose the color of your focus pe peaking, red, green, blue, or white. Exposure compensation, which you can do with this dial here. Exposure metering, multi-point, center weighted or spot, bracketing, continuous shooting, medium, low or high, self-timer, flash settings, optical image stabilization, which they did not tell me was in the camera either. Interesting. Scene mode. I'm going through most of this for the first time with you guys because, like I said, Leica sent it to me just in a box and said, here's our new camera. They didn't tell me anything about it. Scene modes, which I won't use. White balance, photo file format, DNG and JPEG is what I have it set to. The highest resolution of 24 megapixels. So there goes the megapixel answer. JPEG settings, video resolution. You have 1080p 60 frames per second, 1080p 30 frames per second, 720p 30 frames per second. Video mode, continuous AF for focus and video. You can take photos during video recording. You can set your contrast, saturation, and sharpness in the video settings. Your microphone gain, you can turn to low, medium low, medium or high, or off. Wind elimination on, video stabiliz stabilization on, so that's interesting. 
Uh, acoustic signals, you can have your volume and sounds on. Auto ISO settings, I have it set to auto with a maximum of 12,500. Now this guy shoots up to 50,000 ISO. How insane is that for a Leica? Um, you could set your FN button for live view, setup, all this kind of information. And then that's it, there's your whole menu setting. Go back, there's a button for ISO. You can crank that ISO all the way up to 50,000 if you like. There's your FM button, which is set for white balance, which is on auto. Play and delete, and that's it. You have a microphone or a speaker here, so if you play videos back, you'll hear them through there. Your microphones are up here by the hot shoe, as you can see. And basically you have your movie button, your exposure compensation dial, your shutter speed dial, and your shutter button. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple camera. The basics of photography, the uh, like when the Nikon DF came out, they were harking it as the you know back to the roots simplicity of photography. That's basically what the Leica Q is. You have all your features just for basic photography, and it takes beautiful photos. In fact, here we are. This video will be posted in June, halfway through the year. As of right now, just with three days with this camera, it's my candidate so far this year for camera of the year. That's how much I'm liking this Leica Q. And there you have it, the Leica Q from Leica Camera, the made in Wetzlar, Germany. Really, really nice camera. Breakdown, full frame sensor, 24 megapixels, ISO up to 50,000, built-in EVF, a 28 Sumalux F17 lens with a macro mode. And there it all is in the Leica Q, quick, modern, beautiful image quality, totally beats out any of the previous X's, X Vario, the new X. This is where it's at right here, as close as you're gonna get to a Mini M from Leica probably ever. And in many cases, I'm seeing the IQ is actually better than the M. So uh, take a close hard look at the Leica Q. I think you'll like it. Check out the Leica dealers, Ken Hansen, popflash.com, like a store Miami, b &H Photo, uh, you can find the Like a Q at all of those places and I highly recommend all of those dealers. Thank you.